So, I am here to talk about the film Chaos Walking, and my and I'm going to be reacting to two clips, talk about my thoughts on the film and how it's going, um, talk about my thoughts on the book The Knife of the Never Letting Go, which is the book that Chaos Walking is based off of, the first book in the Chaos Walking series. Um, so, let's just start with a summary from the book. The film is not out yet, so I don't know how the film add up, adds up to the summary or anything like that. But hopefully, it it adds up to the summary, because then something's gonna be good about it. <laughs> um, so, it's a boy named Todd Hewitt. In the book, he's 12, but of course he's not 12, because, of course, um, Tom Holland's not 12, and he's the guy who plays... Todd Hewitt. Um, so Todd Hewitt um, is a guy who lives on a planet called New World and he um, has this thing called the noise and all the men do. It is something where um, all your thoughts can be seen and heard at all times and because of the noise all the women died. Well um, that's the summary and probably like what's on the back of the book and things like that so I personally love The Knife of Never Letting Go I think it's such a wonderful story I love how it's told I and hope that it is told in a way that in the film that follows the book um so let's start with the first clip. The first clip I'm going to watch is Davy Prentice Jr. and Todd Hewitt. Um, so I already told you, Davy Prentice Jr. is being played by Nick Jonas. And Todd Hewitt, I already told you who Todd Hewitt is being played by, but it's Tom Holland. Um, so very big named actors. Um, so hopefully it's good um, from what I've seen in the trailers. They, and by, from the other clips, both of these actors look really, really um, amazing in their roles. Um, I will talk about some other things when I get done with the clip, but um, hopefully it's good. Let's get in with this. Shoveler Hewitt and his dumb dog. And he's a man, but he's never killed a thing. I'm watching those. Thank you. God, you little Thank you. <laughs> Well, that's cool, that's cool. Don't let him see that it hurts. I can hear everything you think it I like that line. Just ask. The mirror, the mirror, the mirror. I can always hide it. Is that a problem, boys? Oh, is it? No, huh? Very clever use of your noise, sir. Your lights are something. He was riding with the Spangle Patrol before long. Very clever. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, my main problem is that he says, so, mega spoilers. Um, I'll probably only be talking about this for about 30 seconds, so if you go 30 seconds into the video, I should be done talking about this. So, if you've not read The Knife of Never Letting Go, um, this is, like, the big reveal. Um, so, if you don't want to know, which is completely fine, I'd go, like, 30 seconds into the video, um, and I should be done talking about it. So, I'm gonna start in three, two, one, okay. Now that everyone's gone to the 30 second mark, um, so, why, how does Todd know that they kill people to become a man? He, he doesn't know that yet, um, at the beginning of the book, and that's a big reveal, so I'm not sure how they're gonna do that. Um, I really hope it's a good reveal, though, and that it's still a reveal. <laughs> um, yeah. That's my thoughts on that. Uh, I do think it's going to be a problem, though. Um, so, there's little things, but most of them really aren't that big of a deal. I think that the way that um, Todd and Davy Prentice Jr. act are very, very much so, like, how they act in the book, and I love seeing that. I also love the snake reference, um, because when Todd says snake in the book, it makes the the horse all riled up and you see that in the scene and I, I thought that was really really good. I also loved the I'm Todd Hewitt thing to make his noise be what he wants people to hear um, which is a 
big part of the book and I love that they brought that and you can see that in a ton of clips so I really enjoy that they brought that back because it's such a big and wonderful part of the book um yeah overall I think the costumes look great I think it's what I envisioned uh, something like that of what they would wear so I I love that I though the actors are aged up I think that the actors will be great for their roles and I think it'll work really nicely so now let's get into the second one which is the one I'm scared for <laughs> um it has Hildy, Todd, and Viola. In the last scenes, we've seen Viola and Todd together. They've made it a romantic relationship, and it's not. Um, so I really hope they steer away from that. Um, hopefully. But let's get into this now. <laughs> what you need to contact your ship is in Haven. Haven? It's the first settlement. Another town. You didn't just think there were two settlements in all of New World, did you? No, of course not. I thought it was one. <laughs> That's really nice. That's a nice line. Not even one. I'd rather stay with you, Todd. I'd rather be with you. Kiss me, Todd. Kiss me. Kiss me. No, wait, I didn't just say that. I'm sorry. Viola. Viola, that was weird. Exactly what I was afraid of. They're making it a, a romantic relationship. I've talked about this, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit more because, I don't know, Todd saying, like, I want to be with you, Todd, and um, Viola's voice, like, kiss me, Todd, and Viola's voice, like, his head thinking that is weird because... Like, they're, they're, it's, there's nothing saying in the book. Like, you can tell something's there. I'm not going to say, say that it's not. Um, you can tell that they have a wonderful bond and they're wonderful friends. And that there could be something there. Um, later, and they could get together later. You can definitely tell that. But in The Knife of Never Letting Go, that's not the thing they're worrying about. <laughs> they... They're having trouble even being friends for, like, half of the book. Because, because Viola's like, what the heck is going on? Why can I see all your thoughts? And, like, w what's going on? And Todd is just trying to help someone he thinks needs his help. Like, maybe it's, like, a... You can tell that they're wonderful friends by the end of the book, and you can tell that they really do care about each other, but in no way was it ever, like, was Todd ever envisioning Viola kissing him or anything like that or wanting, like, he wanted Viola to stay with him because he didn't want her to get hurt. Not in a romantic way. At all. It's just, oh... They're gonna kill her. They're gonna. They want me. Why don't we work together to try to get from the enemy? That's all it is. And they're friends. He doesn't want Viola to get hurt because Viola is his only friend and his best friend. So, no. <laughs> I don't know why Hollywood keeps doing this with this book, these book-to-movie adaptations. They did it with Percy Anna and Annabeth, and same thing. You can tell something's there in The Lightning Thief, but majority of The Lightning Thief, Annabeth is not like Percy at all, at least in the book. Um, in the movie, they have to end it with Annabeth pretending to kiss him and then wanting to, like, and then be like, haha, I was gonna combat we're gonna use knives like <laughs> that, that made it sound a lot worse it's like it, I don't know why they keep doing this and it's because there's a ton of popular book to movie adaptations and one of them is uh, Twilight never read them never watched the films don't plan to 
I personally think that that relationship is extremely toxic and don't want to read about that because I would be like, just get away from him <laughs> the whole entire time and I'd be like, Billy, you're so stupid, get away. Um, but ever since Twilight's been really, really popular, they keep doing this. And maybe even before that, but like... I think the Twilight was a big reason for that because Twilight was so popular and it was such a wonder, uh, a ro one romance based um, book because it's a romance book. I've never read the books, but or the watched the movies. But <laughs> from what I've heard, there it, it's like that a lot. Um, and. Todd and Viola are such wonderful friends, and you, you can do that in later films, make other films, but you don't do that in the first one. You do not do that with the knife of never letting go, because they're just trying to survive in that book, and it's not really the time. It, it's when, especially when they meet Hildy, like, they have not known each other for very long, and I, I don't, I just don't like it. I don't like it. Um, yeah. I did love the costumes. That's one thing I think that this film's gonna do really, really well is the costumes. Outside of the things going on inside Todd's head, I thought that the noise looked really great. I love the way that the noise looks. I've always loved it, uh, ever since I saw the first trailer. Um, I think the acting's good. Except for the things that's going on with... Todd's noise. I, like, I think it'll be a good film. It's just, that's gonna catch me off guard, and I also, I just hope that it's a good film. Um, and don't think, like, oh, she's gonna make it be a terrible film, say it's gonna be a terrible film just because of this one thing. Even though it's probably not gonna make me very happy that they're doing that, it's, it's not like it's gonna, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's a terrible film because they changed one thing. No, um, it's not going to make me very happy. It's going to be something I'm like, okay, I didn't really like that. But overall, I think that these clips were pretty good. I think the first one was my favorite. Um, I think that it'll be really, really cool to see David Prentice Jr. and Todd fighting and see how much different their thought processes are. I think that'll be really cool. I loved seeing Hildy because we really have not seen her and I loved seeing her in this clip. It was so cool to see them. Uh, um, I, my only thing is like, are they not gonna have her husband in it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it was really, really cool to see Hildy. Overall, the, the first clip was a lot better than the second clip, in my opinion, and I really hope these clips are making it out to be a lot less romance-based than it is in the film. Those are my thoughts. Overall, it was pretty good. It, like, it, it was good. <laughs> um, I'm not saying it's horrible, not at all. Um, I will watch this film when it's on a streaming service or on Amazon Prime or whenever, wherever it's going. Um, so... When that goes out, watch out for the review, because I will have one. Um, and a review for the book, The Knife of Never Letting Go, is going on my channel, too. So, there's going to be a lot of chaos walking stuff on this channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day, and go watch these clips. They will be linked down in the description. Um, stay safe, and um, watch movies and read books because they're fun. At least I find them fun. Bye!